Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today we are again having some World of Tanks content on the channel. Today we're looking at a replay of mine, and we're playing in the T-67, the Tier 5 American Tank Destroyer, that most of you will reckon as the, one of the most overpowered tanks in the game. And as you can see, in patch 9.15 it's been turned into an HD model, which looks absolutely beautiful. But let me first get a few things off of my chest, and that is that... Only one more week of school remains before all the heavy stuff of this school year is done. Which means that I do have a few hours of school in the weeks after next week. But those aren't going to be very heavy. So pretty much um, I'm going to call it holy days after this week. Even though I have to go to school for a few hours every day for one week more. But that doesn't really matter. So the next thing that I want to talk about is something that uh, some of you might have seen on the channel what's been happening on every YouTube channel this week and that's been the subscriber loss. PewDiePie is of course, uh, most of you guys will have seen it I guess, uh, he's lost over 600,000 subscribers, me including, <laughs> no I don't <laughs> have lost 600,000 subscribers let me point that out, but I have lost um, 9 subscribers in total. This week I was at a grand total number of 270, 267 excuse me, subscribers and that went down to 258 and at first I was really confused and I didn't know what happened. Then one of my friends told me that it has happened to all the channels and the reason uh, for this is probably YouTube who have deleted uh, the inactive accounts on YouTube on every uh, channel that exists. Of course, I can't clarify that, but I think that that is the main reason. But anyway, let's focus up on the T67 replay with a beautiful kill there on the Mother 38T. So, as we are on the map Prokhorovka, one of the best maps for the T67 in my opinion. This has got to be one of the best uh, prob probable uh, matchups you can have as well. Tier 5, top tier of course. Um, I've got binoculars and camo net, with, which of course helps a lot on this map. Especially this map, just because of all the bushes. And now that I'm in this middle position here, and I am pretty much safe. There's also no arty as well, which is really nice. I've got this very uh, big bush here, which hides me from the enemy team. I'm going to activate my binoculars, thinking that some people might be camping back there. It's always worthy trying to put some blind shots into that position right there. No idea what this Matilda is doing and how he managed to do that, what he just did. But it doesn't matter, guys. The thing you do really have to watch out for in this tank is your ammo capacity. It can be possible to run out of ammunition, but that's something that I'm not going to focus on right now. So, what do I see right now? I see two very lightly armored tanks, and the thing I do is I load HE ammo immediately, as you can see. So that's one HE shell into the Panzer SFL, which takes him down. Beautiful leading shot into the T-67 on the enemy team, and we take him down with an AP shell. Perfect choice of ammo right there. So as we can see, 1500 damage or so. And still on the enemy team, there's a really good player alive, as we can see, the M4 on the enemy team. He's played a very healthy amount of games, as you can see. So if we manage to kill that guy, we will have a very big chance of winning this game. We got a t sh the killing shot on the T40, but unfortunately it misses. Doesn't really matter. So right now, I don't tunnel vision. I see my camper spotting the BT-7 artillery. And I'm rushing my shot there. I should have given a lot more lead, but it doesn't matter as my team takes him out anyway. So the T40 drives into the open again, but luckily, yeah, unfortunately for us, he gets behind the rock just in time. There's a Panzer 4H in the open here, we can just fire up this guy. Very good aiming statistics on this tank, but the accuracy is really bad, as you can see. But with 1.7 aiming time, uh, seconds aiming time, I believe that's not going to be a problem whatsoever. So I do get spotted there, but it doesn't matter as I manage to pull back on time and don't receive any more hits. So M4 is still alive, and then a T67 and the uh, one of the Czechoslovakian tanks. So there's the M4, he is crossing the open ground, which is perfect for me. I've got only one AP shell remaining, so now I am down to my APCR shells. 
which sucks a bit because this is going to cost me a lot of credits. But anyway, I do want to take down this win because if I do, I might be able to run a good profit. So there's a Wolverine alive on my team still and I do want to keep the vision out because if I move and I lose my binocular sight, I will not be able to spot him on time. So I do want to stay here to see if I spot him. Luckily he gets spotted, probably not by me, but by the Wolverine. Doesn't matter. I'm a bit hesitating there thinking but where he would move. But luckily we do manage to take him down there, which is really, really good for me. So, as we can see, there's only two enemy tanks remaining. A T-67 and the Czechoslovakian Tier 4 tank. So, the two tanks have been last spotted on the other side of the map, on the other side of the rails. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to see if I get some vision on there. It looks like I'm not going to get much help from the Wolverine. Because, yeah, well, he's on a very low amount of hit points. So, let's see if we can spot them here. Oh my god, we spot the Czech Lusso Vacuum on. And the T67, I want to prioritize the lowest health targets. Luckily I do. And it's just a matter of taking the hits and taking down the last enemy tank on the team. Guys, I think this replay showed perfectly why uh, people think that the T67 is such a good tank. And it just really is. The rate of fire is amazing. The penetration is really good for its tier. The aim time is really good. It's a bit of a shame of the accuracy, but hey, you can't have it all. Mobility is really good and even the camo value is really good if you combine it with binoculars and a camo net. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this small replay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the post game statistics right now. So guys, there's my first ace tanker in the T67. 7 kills and 2k damage in a tier 5 tank, which really isn't a bad result. Certainly not the best game, but I think it was a game that you guys enjoyed watching. And if you did like to watch this video, Please make sure you leave a like because I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. Next week I've got a lot of tests so that's why I don't make a very long video this week. As I said this is the last week and after that I am pretty much done with school. So stay tuned for more videos. Also I would really appreciate if you would think about subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.